Kandara tomorrow. simulation. The NSA just called me. We have a problem in East Timor. What kind of problem? A big one. What's up, ladies and gents? Welcome to Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow. This is our re-walkthrough where we're going to set even more challenges than the original walkthrough that we did so many years ago. So hopefully you guys are ready for this. Again, this is played on the hard difficulty. And of course, this is made possible by those that are on Patreon and by those that are members of the channel. So make sure you become a member of the channel or on Patreon to help us continue to make time to be able to do these types of walkthroughs. So hopefully you guys enjoy. We're going to be trying to go through this entire game with minimizing or pretty much a ghost walkthrough as much as possible. If we don't have to knock someone out, that's uh, what we're going to go for. So hopefully you enjoy. I'm your host, Sinistrator One. It's go time. Fisher, welcome back to the front. All right, so here we go. Everything is pretty self-explanatory in the beginning here, so I'll just let it play out. Let's work on stealth. Your gun should always be your last resort. Invisibility is your best weapon. We've got a network of photocells on your suit connected to a visibility meter on your opset. If the meter's at three, you're lit up like Times Square. Now, one thing you'll notice is I've blurred the outsides of the screen. Hopefully that makes it a little bit better for you guys to see the inside. This is the Xbox One X version, so the game is in four by three. Uh, you can actually get it on the store right now on the Xbox but it doesn't allow you to play in widescreen, unlike the PC version, but that's the hardest version to get to actually run correctly, so that's why I went with the Xbox version. I'll try to have the light on every now and then because I do want to make sure you guys can see, and this game is very dark, and it can be very, very hard to see at some points, so there's really not much I can do, but if I feel that it's going to be a problem, then I'll turn uh, the night vision on to make sure that you guys can see exactly what I'm doing, or if you have any questions on any parts, just let me know in the comments below, and I'll always message back and let you guys know. Um, kind of type it in, that way you can make it a little easier for you. So again, this is the tutorial level. Not too much is going on here, or should I say it's not too difficult to figure out. There are just about two sections that you might have to complete a few different times to figure out how to get through it. But that's what these walkthroughs are for, is to limit that uh, re uh, replayness uh, on you guys as I go through it so you don't have to. 
So if you follow this guide, you should be able to get through these sections pretty much your first time go, as long as you follow it to a T. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. It takes a lot of time to make these. Obviously, some of you saw the live stream. Um, uh, like I said, there's a few sections up here that can be a little tough. Each mission has its own rewards and... Before you infiltrate the embassy, let me reintroduce D.P. Brunton, our interagency consultant. He's got an update for the mission. I'll keep it brief. I'm sure you know I'm excited to be part of the team. The Joint Chiefs want this mission kept non-lethal and alarms at flat zero. We can't endanger the hostages. Understood. And with some due respect, leave anything Lambert can say to Lambert. I don't want the voices in my head to become a crowd. Get inside the embassy. This situation is delicate and largely unknown, so walk softly. One thing we'll notice is that the voice talent is different. Grimm's daughter is different. Obviously, they got Dennis Habert to do the uh, the voiceover for Lambert, which you guys might know him from Allstate or 24. Uh, again, he does a good job, but he doesn't do as good a job as the original Lambert, and that's because the original Lambert just has that perfect voice for it, whereas when you have Dennis, you know his voice, you've heard him in other things, it doesn't have that realisticness to it. You know what I'm saying? So I prefer the original voice actors. But they do come back in the, the next couple of games, so no problems there. We are going to have to use the distraction here so we can get by this guy. Now, you can actually use your pistol to distract enemies a lot better than in the previous game, as they won't automatically be onto you in this game. It'll be more like they'll just be worried about the sound. So you can use your pistol sometimes to get around certain enemies just by uh, shooting something. There are mines here, just like in the previous game, so you just got to watch where you step, use your thermal goggles in order to be able to get around that and you should have no worries again this is probably the easiest mission in the game just because it is teaching you how to do the new maneuvers that you can do in the game itself which there are quite a few new ones uh, obviously the SWAT turn that we did earlier and then we have a uh, the jump which is from the previous game right here however now you can actually do a jump with and continually go higher and you'll see it right here. So all you got to do is move over to the other side and then jump again. And then you should grab whatever ledge is on the opposite side of where Sam is kind of like maneuvering, if that makes sense. Other than that, it's uh, pretty easy to get through these first couple sections. Here is where it's going to start to get a little tricky. Grim's found you a back door. Avoid the main gate at all cost. Blueprints show an ornamental stream running beneath the entrance. Looks like a viable way in. A little wet's better than a little dead. That stream's your way in, even if it means moving slowly to minimize your noise level. Fisher, be careful. This village is a walk in the park compared to what needs to be done inside the embassy. Stay to the left here, and you should be able to get by the guard without having to use any types of distractions. However, this guard up ahead, the game technically wants you to interrogate him, but if you want to see those interrogations, please, by all means, watch my other previous uh, stealth walkthrough. This one's a little different. The situation is getting worse in the embassy. They seem to be killing hostages now. This one we're actually going to get by. I've got a man in my way, Lambert. How flexible is my zero fatality mandate? As a rock. In fact, we want you to make a new friend. From your onboards, that man looks like one of Sedano's lieutenants. Interrogate him. Find out what he knows about Sedano's defense parameters. The chatter we're sifting sounds bad, but lacks specifics. Details on your opsat. So we're just going to shoot a distraction, not right at his head, but close to it. And then he will stare and look at that, and then we're able to move on by without actually having to mess with him. Otherwise, if there was any other types of way, I would do that as well. The other one you could do is using your whistle. But I'm going to try to minimize the whistle as much as I can because I feel that mechanic is just too overused. But it's time to move on to the second part of the level, and this is where it'll actually start getting challenging. The flash notes confirm there was a hostage situation. Indonesian militants. Yeah, but the hostages are somebody else's game. You're here for information, and especially the information held by Douglas. Shetland's your objective. We need to know how much data was lost. Make sure you stay up against the cover. Freeze, Fisher. Don't shoot! Not a I'm American! Sedono is right on top of you. If he sees you, this mission is over. But why me? I, I didn't see anything. 
It is a little ridiculous that he doesn't see you there, but the squat turn pretty much... I, I keep saying squat turn. <laughs> well, he's squatting and he's turning, so... But it's the squat turn. It uh, uh, pretty much makes you invisible whenever you're crossing that, even though you go into the light. Give me a bonds. I and this is the only you. guard in the level you 100% mandatorily have to take out. Talk, damn you. Where is it? Is Shedron safely separated from the others? Absolutely. Keep... Douglas, it's been a while. Fisher? My god, man, you're getting old. You still in one piece? Where are the rest of the SEALs? I'm working alone. Haven't been Navy for a decade. Then who you with? I'm here on damage control. Just came to smash your computer. Thank god. Oh, should I say the CIA? Keep guessing. I tried to destroy it, but who knows how much data they were able to pull down. I've consulted on security for targets all over the world. Who do you work for? Delta? No. Staying anonymous. Uh-huh. Maybe you've got a use for this storage device I pulled off the gorilla I killed. Thanks. How'd you hide it from your guard? Just wash your hands when you're done with it. It was PGP encrypted. Easy stuff. For all the good it did us, the body text is gibberish. Brunton thinks it's a regional Indonesian dialect. We're looking for a translator. But we got the sender's alias, Please Mortified Penguin. Me. And four words in the body text, Redbeard, Saulnier, and Springfield. My CIA people came through for us. The dialect is Timorese Mambe. There's an agency bureaucrat working in the embassy, an Indonesian linguist, a woman named Carlson. First name, Ingrid. She's being held in a tower off the garden behind the embassy grounds. Grimm's working on a way to contact her without alerting her guard. Carlson's your next objective. Details on your offset. All right, make sure you do what I do. Do a SWAT turn here, and those guys should not be able to see you. Other than that, really the only way you're going to get by that uh, without taking out any lights or anything. I'm going to try to limit the amount of lights that I interact with as much as possible. But we are going to use distractions. Obviously, you have a whistle as well. We're going to try to limit the amount of whistles we do, but sometimes we are going to have to use a whistle. So just throw the bottle here. We're going to try to get all three of these guards to look Hello? in the that? opposite of direction of where this is. Otherwise, one of them will always look right here, and then you'll be seen. Other than that, we're going to, you know, keep trying to remain, only, uh, remain as ghost as possible. not gonna like this. Chances are. Security camera tap shows a lone guard overlooking the next courtyard wearing night vision goggles. There's an automated searchlight they haven't shut down. Should be blinding through night goggles. You're telling me to stay in the light? I said you wouldn't like it. Alright, I always did love this section, but unfortunately there's just... It doesn't do it enough, you know what I mean? Like, I wish there was more sections that had this type of stealth where you actually have to stay in the light in order to be stealthy. I always love this concept. But this section is pretty easy to get through. Up ahead, the guard is in the window, and then the contact that you're supposed to meet up is on the right side. So make sure you go to the right when you uh, go down. Also, when you drop down, you've got to hit B to let go, but then also hit B again to make sure you drop into stealth mode. If you don't, you'll land loud, and obviously that guy will hear you. You don't want that to happen. So. Always get in the habit of hitting B twice when you do these types of jumps here. B once to let go, B again to drop. Nice and stealth lack. Ingrid. You must be my blind date. I hope the bit with the flashlight helped. It did, thanks. I'm doing the best I can. This hasn't turned out to be the desk job I was hired for. I'm a word cruncher. Word crunching's what I need, look. Nice PDA. Are you saving up for the color model? Can you read it? It's phonetical mambe. Not a native speaker, but fluent. Gives numbers for a meeting place. 4857 North. 0308 East. 18 hours. The only reference to the location is Solnier. 
That's not Mambe. It says they're only a few weeks from securing the uh, ingredients for the Springfield demonstration. And that's it. It's signed, Mortified Penguin. Mortified Penguin? Your guess is as good as mine, but I wouldn't recommend guessing. And while you're at it, forget everything you've seen, heard, and said. Are you going to be all right if I leave here? Would you stay if I said no? No. Well done, Fisher. There's a nice synchronicity between those coordinates and the name Saunier. Both match a cryogenics lab in Paris. And we just got word from Delta. They're sending their boys in. Which means you're off the leash. Merry Christmas, Fisher. Shoot all the gorillas you like. You have a quick exit downstairs at the base of the tower. Cohen is waiting for you in the village. The Osprey can't land in the village. Cohen's afraid of being too good a target. Cut the power from all the spotlights in the village. They'll fly as low as possible to pick you up at the end of the pier. So this can be a little tricky. You've got to wait until you have the right timing. Stand exactly on the ladder where I do because you're underneath one bar. If you're right on one bar or over, this guard will see you every single time and then you won't be able to do what you're going to do. He also varies his pattern up a little bit. He never does the same thing each single time. So this part can be a little tricky, especially when you're not knocking them out or when you're not doing any distractions. So give it some time. Do exactly what I do. Wait until he comes forward and then turns around and then you can go ahead and take out the spotlight. Immediately get down. And then we're going to move on the right side here. We're going to go up against the wall. Uh, he gives you enough room that he'll go right by you. And you don't make any noise when you're on a wall. So if you try to maneuver around him in a very slow, stealthy way, sometimes he will still be able to hear you. So if you do this, you won't make any noise and then wait a few seconds for him to go by and then get into the cover. Here we've got one more guard to worry about, so stick on the outside. If you do, he won't see you. We're just going to wait here because we're going to be safe than sorry. Uh, you might have enough time if you go in, like, say, right now and do it. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and just be safe and make sure. So same thing as before. Get right here and just, if you want, now you can try to risk it. You can go ahead and go ahead and go now and then see if he doesn't turn around at this point. But um, me, I like to be a little patient sometimes. Stealth is all about having patience. None of these walkthroughs are speed runs. They're meant to show you how to get by them in a stealthy manner. But at the same time, in a more realistic kind of way, uh, even though Sam can't see around the other side, I feel, well, that's realistic. If he can't turn his head to see, then I should wait until I know that that guard is not looking. Not just because it's a video game and it's logic. You know what I mean? So I try to make my walkthroughs as realistic as I can. But again, they are video games. Sometimes that doesn't always work out when a guard goes right by you. Uh, and he would easily be able to see you normally in a real life situation. But that's the end of the level. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you again so much as we continue our Splinter Cell series um, re-walkthroughs here. And of course, hopefully you all enjoyed. Thanks again so much for watching. Love you all. And we'll see you on the next mission, which is Paris. And it's a doozy. Peace out.